Hey guys, I'm putting together a long video today. Plus it'll give me a chance to uh, play around with iMovie and see if I can make my own first little uh, actual edited uh, video. Anyway, it's gonna be on the hour and a half of stretching that I do every single day in order for me to walk comfortably. I suffer from AS, it's called ankylosing spondylitis. It's one of the most painful diseases on the planet. There's no cure for it, but with uh, medication and a lot of physiotherapy, um, and if you catch it early enough in your life, which fortunately I have, um, it's, it's kind of manageable. I mean, I can no longer do sports or run or jump or things that twist or bend my spine too much. But uh, anyway, um, when I first discovered it and was looking for physiotherapy and stuff, I saw a lot of like little you know, things here and there on certain medical websites. And I learned a lot from a fellow YouTuber. His name is Jeff Cavalier, AthleanX.com, I think. Um, so I want to shout him out. But I never saw anybody put together like a treatment program or a, a, a long kind of uh, thing of, of stretching. So that's what I'm doing today. It's going to be long. Uh, you can count them if you want, but uh, this is what helps me live. I, I don't have a choice. I hate doing it every day, but here we go. Let's get started. Start out. Just loosen up. Swing in the arms. After a little bit of that, I go into stretching the forearms. Squeeze it here, squeeze it back like this. This one is for tennis elbow that I get from curling my wrist too much on lifting weights. A lot of people with AS will not have to do this one. You can skip this one if you don't have elbow pain. From there, I go straight into squatting, crack my knees a little bit. Next one, I would say this one's important for your SI joints. Uh, I'm only gonna do one, one side of everything, but you know, most things have two sides. I'll just show you my right side because that's where most of my AS is on the right side. I go here, hopefully I'm in the video. Stretch it out a bit this way. And then I like to sit here and kind of put my butt down and, and tilt it down and get a good stretch right back here. And I'll even do a little bit of twisting with it. Since I can't do much twisting, I'll get there, okay? Um, and of course, I'm doing them fast. I would say hold them for a good five Mississippi on every stretch, okay? And do the other leg too, of course. Then I go down, grab these, go for a hamstring stretch, very easy. You can even do this without and just pull your leg up. For me, I like the rubber band here. It's okay to bend your knee and even push out like that. I'm trying to get that hamstring loosened up. Stretch out the pelvis a little bit. Hold for five seconds. I'm going to try to go fast. Uh, the next one is kind of Kegel exercises. You want to focus on your lower abs, your Kegel muscle. Hold it there. Do it for both legs. Also gives you a good stretch on your side. And there you go. One leg down. Knee to chest. This one I really like. Try to focus on squeezing that SI joint on top of your butt. And if you want, you can even try to push it against, against your arm to try to strengthen it. Do both legs. From there, this is your butt muscle called the piriformis muscle. I had some problems with that last year. I had to learn how to strengthen and stretch those. You go here. It's okay to roll on your side a little bit because you want to get this leg across your body. Pull it as hard as you can, five seconds. I even go like this, manually pull it, five seconds. And that's that, I'm going really fast. Um, then, I go one leg over, try to stretch that, that spine sideways, since you can't do much of that in real life. Uh, there's a lot of shoulder exercises that I recommend doing a lot of people with AS also have osteoarthritis in their AC joint, their shoulders. Lord knows I do. So I go in here, push that down. You're going to feel it right here and just push it down. I'm probably going to sweat. South Florida, I just got home. My AC is not all the way on yet. Then, I'm going to stay on this side, but you're going to do these for both sides. Then we're going to go with the side leg kicks. And you're gonna focus again on getting that SI joint strengthened back here. 
All right, that's kind of the first part. Um, and I'll try to tell you guys what the most important ones are and what they, what they work on. Then I go into, I think it's like a cat and dog kind of yoga thing. So at first, I really try to arch my back, go into the extension. But not just in your back, again, you're trying to feel it in your SI joints. It's okay to wiggle, I like to wiggle around a lot, side to side, back and forth, get it stretched out. And then after that few seconds, do the opposite. You go this way and you curl up like, uh, I think this is the cat one. And I feel that most, you're gonna feel that most in the front side of your ribs and your abs. Kind of squeeze my pelvis down just to get that nice and loosened up. Okay, then we're going back to butt muscle again. Watch this. Piriformis. Leg. Back. You're focusing on strengthening that. And just lay down on it. Do both sides, do both legs, obviously. And then I go straight into, I don't know what this is called, it's some kind of yoga thing. But it's good, you're focusing on keeping those strong and loose. Do both sides. Um, let's see, after that, I go into, forgive, I got a brand new tattoo, so I'm not gonna put my forearm all the way down. But then I just go into a, um, we got plank, strengthen up the core, loosen it up. Down, this one's gonna be extension. I can't do any extension exercises at all. My, my spine won't take it, but you can, uh, I can at least stretch them out a little bit. And of course, everybody with this disease is gonna be a little bit further progressed or not as progressed or things like that. I mean, if you can do it, do it. The extension, the twisting ones, if you're further along than I am, I understand you're not gonna be able to do them, but just do what you can. It's a lot of trial and error. So you're focusing on just getting those lower back muscles loosened up a little bit. And then these, I do a lot of rear, rear deltoid stuff because that's gonna help keep the inflammation out of your shoulders down. Just a couple of these, hold for three seconds. Arms out, little neck stretch there. Arms up, hold for three seconds. You're focusing on using those upper shoulder muscles, all right? This is one of my favorites here. I don't know what it's called, but I go all the way down. Oh, that feels good. I've already done it this morning. Because every time I do it, there's a bunch of cracks right there in the middle of that thoracic spine. And I try to get my shoulders nice and loose too. And at that point, I usually go into a few push-ups just to get myself kind of warmed up. You know, because before that, I won't be able to do push-ups uh, unless I did all that to stretch first. We're not on the floor anymore, we're standing up. A uh, couple neck stretches. Neck all the way down, five seconds. Neck all the way up, five seconds. To the right, five seconds. Left, five seconds, you get it, and tilt. And hold five seconds. And then, you, and then I go into shoulder shrugs, around in front. Down and back, and then do the opposite. Take it this way, and around that way. I probably do three full rotations. Then I go into more shoulder stretches. I used to do this one in baseball as a kid. Remember, you're doing both arms. Then I go behind the head, pull this one down. It's all stretching all that shoulder muscles. Um, and then I just do this one straight up. And then I, I go back, and then go back as far as I can. In fact, it, this is the bad shoulder. It's, it's already hurting, but sometimes the hurt is good. Go down slowly. You're gonna see in a lot of the, all the shoulder stuff, you don't always have your thumbs out. It's external rotation. It helps to get rid of that internal rounded posture that most of us have from looking down at our cell phones all day. I usually do it in the other wall, but let's do it here. Find a corner. And again, that's kind of like a pec muscle stretch, but it also does the shoulders too. And then you just find an empty doorway, 90 degree angle. Stretch into it like this. Keep your elbow on there and also take a step further. Lift your forearm up and go backwards. It's gonna really work those rear deltoids. Make sure everything's touching the wall, your heels, your bum, your back, your shoulders. 90 degree angles, you're gonna go straight up. Touch your fingertips at the top, which you might not see in the video. 
But the part that's important is all the way back down. You should feel a nice squeeze between your shoulder blades back there. Getting there, then a couple, uh, you just try to hold on to something and do it in a different spot in my room, but just quad stretches, stretch out your quad. And then these are, these are really good for your SI joints. You might want to hold on to a well or something. Sideways leg kicks, kind of like we did in the floor, but now it's upwards. You feel that right there in that SI joint. Do both legs, and then you can also go backwards and not just to the side. And then begins the fun. This ball is great. Not only is it good for stretching, um, it's good for getting a little six pack too. Um, which I have, I just don't have the obliques because I can't do any of the twisting stuff that you're supposed to do for your obliques at all. But, and I like to do it on the wall, put my feet on the wall. You're just gonna crunch it as much as you can. And if you don't go all the way down, you try to keep that in the middle here where the tension in your abs is, that's how you get abs. But when I do enough of those and I'm tired of it, then I push back and stretch all the way back. And then I'll keep going, just crunches like this. Try to, on this part, I try to really focus on the lower abs though. And I don't really count, I just do as many as I can until I'm too tired, do any more. From there, this one is also great for your lower abs and I think for your SI joints. I like to use my pillow for my knees. Grab your uh, ab wheeler thing, $10 again at Walmart. And you know how these work. I feel like I'm too close to the camera. You're gonna kind of keep it tight and curled and just out and back in, out and back in. You're gonna try not to use your arms to pull yourself back in. Try to focus on using all your ab strength. And that core, the stronger that is, I think is gonna be the better your SI joints are gonna be on the back as well. Then I squeeze it and also go into a hamstring stretch. Across these, this is gonna stretch out your hamstring. Keep that leg straight and go down. And I also like to kind of squeeze my oblique since I can't really work them, I can at least try to stretch them a little bit. This is another one I love for AS. I don't know what it's called, but I go here and then kind of twist and let that butt go down and twist as much as you can that way. I'm gonna stick this, you can't see in the inside of the door so it clicks and I can use it. Um, these are gonna be really kind of lat stretches, but it's leading up to something, trust me. Okay, so I start out here, a little bit of tension. After I get that warmed up a little bit, then I really try to focus on using the lats. Keep your elbow down, keep your wrist nice and relaxed. Try to focus on only using your back muscles to pull it back, not your hands. Okay, I do both arms once they're stretched out. Then I go into both arms. The purpose of that was to do both arms at the same time. Try to keep your, your shoulders rounded and down your back arched, just pull them back. And I might run out of the video. I like to lean into it so I know I'm not using anything but my back muscles. And if you're doing it right, you should feel it really good in the middle, in between your shoulder blades and a good stretch and a crack back there as well. I love it. Um, after I'm done with those, then I like to stretch the, the shoulders again, just going this way. Just a nice stretch. Then I go overhead for a little stretch again. You can even do that if you want to work a little muscles there. This one again, just stretching the back of those shoulder muscles. Most of this is shoulder stuff, obviously. Um, this, one's, this one is one of the best ones. This is one of the ones that helped me out right here. Okay, you're gonna go thumbs out, 90 degrees. And you're just gonna pull back the weight like this. Okay, do about five of those. More if you want. Again, it's gonna get that muscle strength in. And then last one with the shoulders on this wall is gonna be this. 
have it a little bit across your body or straight in front of you is fine too, but again, you're gonna pull it out that way and focus only on using these muscles right here, not the muscles in your arm. It's a mental thing, you know? It's not gonna go very far, but it's good for strengthening those things, I promise. Um, once I'm done with that, You got this thing, this thing has got to be dirt cheap, I don't remember how much. Guess where I got it from? Walmart. Wrap it around the hand one time. Wrap it this way. These ones are really good. Oops, that's too short. Okay, I like to kind of just stay in the middle, but I like to go from low to high or whatever, but I'm just staying in the middle for the video. Start here. What are you going to do with your thumbs? You're going to rotate them out and then go as far back as you can and then in. Keep it kind of in the middle of your chest. Thumbs out. Rotate as far back as you can. Do as many of those until you're tired. I do a good six, six to eight. And then I finish up my stretch with just a couple pull-ups. I think this is in the, yeah, should be in the camera. Just kind of hang and get those back things straightened out. And that's my stretch. And that's, uh, and then I go to the gym and work out with actual weights for about 40 minutes. But I wouldn't be able to go, the point of this is I wouldn't be able to go to the gym without doing all these stretches first. It's tedious, I hate it to death, but I have to do it every single day if I don't wanna be in a lot of pain just trying to walk. All right guys, that wraps it up with stretches. Um, if you got any questions or comments, whatever, just uh, type them in, I'll be happy to reply. Otherwise, I will see you next time, God bless.